Hello everybody, it is Scarlet Scale and we're back at it again. Uh, we are on the first morning of Anime Expo, and but before we leave, uh, I definitely wanted to unbox all of the Wave 6 starter packs as well as the Darkest Webum and Diamond Serpentees. Unfortunately, if you see on the far right, far right um, I have a Diamond Gorthion Core. I will not be opening that because that is my first one and I'd like to keep it sealed. But uh, all of these other things I'm going to unbox right here right now except for the probably the darkest webum and uh diamond serpentines that's gonna be a video for later tonight but first off we're gonna go ahead and start with the red arena all the way in the back here i uh, don't know if you can see it um let me move the darkest webum out of the way so get a better look so i'm gonna go ahead and unbox that in a moment and i'll be right back. and we're back uh got all the contents of the red arena out here uh as you can see, it comes with the red arena, a nice new color compared to the previous blue that we had. And then it comes with silver borders uh, compared to the black borders we had of the blue arena. Uh, and among um, the exclusive, we have an exclusive Bakugan that comes with the arena. Obviously, red uh, to match the Pyrus of this Pyrus Phaedrus. So first off, we're going to go into uh, the character card. Uh, so we got a Pyrus Phaedrus. One of the only double flaming fists. Uh, we're actually going to be unboxing another one of these double flaming fists back gun in a bit here. But so this is um, her base stats are 305. We currently do not know an Evo. Um, base, pretty average stats, but double flaming fist has a lot of potential there. Hopefully, it's really good because I really love Phaedrus. Um, yeah, but. So moving on, we get the flip card, Spontaneous Combustion with this, for 4 energy, make a Paris attack for 4 damage. So basically, if you're taking damage, you basically gotta pay for, for basically a kind of like a revenge for. Um, honestly, I don't, I, this could work in a burn deck where it's like, you work with quick fire, uh, Paris Hyper Serpentis, like ways to get out burn damage, but this one seems a little bit more, uh, like cost and cost and efficiency. Um, just because you need to be taking damage in order to deal damage, but who knows, maybe that 4 Pyrus attack is going to be the game deciding factor for a lot of things. Moving on, for the two cores that come in, we obviously get two Flaming Fists. We get one Flaming Fist at minus 4 damage, and one Flaming Fist at plus 150 B power and plus 4 damage. And then moving on to the star of the show, we get the Pyrus uh, Phaedrus. Um, she is, uh, nice. Pyrus Bakugan. Uh, I'm honestly a bit biased towards Phaedrus overall. Um, definitely I'm going to try to collect all six of her factions in both the Core and Ultra. Um, and for those of you who do not have not seen a Phaedrus folded up yet, all you gotta do is put in the arm, fold up the arms like so, push her back, head in, and then tail in. So, Pyrus Phaedrus balled up. Alright, and I'm going to be going ahead and splitting this video into two parts. So first off, we're going to be opening up uh, three of the new starter packs. Uh, first off, we're going to go ahead and start off with Ventus Vice Rocks, and I'll be right back with you in a minute. Alright, here we are, Ventus Vice Rocks starter pack. Uh, let's get into the cores. I'm trying to make this as quick as possible, because I got to leave soon. Uh, we got a Helix, which is plus 600 B power, minus 3 damage. Got... Magic Shield, that is plus 500 B power. We got a Helix, that is plus Shadow Strike. Pretty interesting to see that. We got another Helix at plus 600 and minus 3 damage. Moving on, we have a Flaming Fist for minus 5 damage. And then, lastly, we got a Shield for plus 400 B power, and only two Chaos and Pyrus. Alright, moving on. Let's start off with the Bakugan themselves. We're going into Chaos Phaedrus this time. This time, for 300 B power and 6 damage, you get a Flaming Fist and a Shield. So, very similar stats to uh, the Pyrus Phaedrus. The only trade-off here is that it's also in Chaos, but you get one, basically one extra damage for a Red Shield, which has a lot more... Uh, uh, B power boosting a potential than the red fist, but then again, maybe you want double red fist for like a mono red fist deck um, 
overall, again, average stats, I would say. Nothing too outstanding here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and move into Chaos Phaedrus here. Oh, man, I, I, I'm so, I can't stop saying this enough. I am so biased towards Phaedrus. She looks so amazing in that white and blue color. Um, really hoping that at least one installment of the Phaedruses uh, turns out to be good. Um, I have hopes for the, a lot of them, specifically the Chaos and uh, Pyrus, the darkest one. Uh, so how you, f obviously how you fold her up again, like that. So gonna take a look uh, real quick at Chaos Phaedrus balled up. Do a quick little look around for all of you. Moving on, we have, oh, moving on, we have Ventus Vice Rocks Ultra, who has double helix and 500 B power, two damage, with an amazing ability of when you land on a helix, plus 200 B power and plus two damage. Now this is really good, uh, like base stats alone makes this really good for a mono helix deck. Um, like it, it probably outclasses Ventus Dragonoid Core at this point. So, very exciting to see this. Um, hope, I'm pretty sure it's going to get a good evolution um, sometime in Age of Orlis. Um, yeah, but definitely if you, you have a mono uh, Helix deck, you might want to include this if you want a Ventus option. Moving on, we got Ventus Vice Rocks Ultra. I'm going to do a quick look around. This is probably the third installment of Vice Rocks that we have seen, including, so we have seen the Orlis and the Chaos one so far. Um, and so how you fold up Vice Rocks is you push down his head, small claw, big claw, and then these little legs fold in like this, and you see these little notches on these little appendages. They go into the little holes on these legs, and then you do it with the other side. Bam. This is Ventus Vice Rocks folded up, but I do gotta say, uh, he does not look, he does not pop out as much as, like, the Chaos one does. So, yeah. That is Ventus Vice Rocks Ultra. And then, moving on to the last one. Oh. I'm just gonna leave him like that, then. Uh, we're moving on to Darkest Scorpion Core. Uh, I'm gonna go show you the character card real quick. So, Ventus, or, Ventus, Darkest Scorpion. sorry, um, if I made a mistake there. Um, it comes with a magic shield and a helix and has a base 100 B power and eight damage with base shadow strike. So obviously you can tell here, very low B power, high damage. That's obviously the trade-off. Has nice cores to help boost its B power up and then also has shadow strike. So meaning that its stance cannot be lowered. Um, the low B power can is like pretty much the only thing that's hindering this thing. Uh, I can see it getting like a good evo. Uh, to help its B power, but otherwise it's really only good for like Might of Cyndia's decks where high of, highest damage wins because you can obviously already get a high damage with a high base damage And your stance can't be lowered which that is also a plus but the con to all of this is the low base B power um, So moving on here we have Darkest Scorpion Core Got that base 100 B power printed on the side here All right, and I'm gonna fold them up and then do a quick look around. So that is Darkest Scorthy Encore. And then let's go over the cards that come in this starter pack real quick. For Darkest Scorthion, we get Dust to Dust. Uh, for Chaos Phaedrus, we get Spear Guide. And then for Ventus Vice Rocks, we get Ruin. All right, so that's everything in the Ventus Vice Rocks pack. Moving on, we're going to go ahead and open up the Darkest Lupithion pack, and I'll be right back here when I Thanos snap this packaging away. Okay, and we're back. Got everything here in the Darkest Lupithion starter pack. I'm going to go ahead and go over all these cores. Um, so, ooh, is this new? I don't think it is. Um, but we get a Helix for minus 200 B power and minus 2 damage. We get a Magic Shield, which is the best Magic Shield, plus 650 B power. Got a Green Fist for plus 2 damage. Then we have a Shield for plus 100 B power. We got a Green Fist for plus 100 B power and plus 3 damage to Pyrus and Chaos. And then we got a Green Fist for minus 2 damage. 
All right, moving on to the Bakugan themselves. We're going to go take a look at Pyroscorthion first. Um, almost forgot to grab his character card. Um, so Pyroscorthion is obviously double green fist. Uh, has base 200 B power and 4 damage. And has the nice effect of when you land on a green fist, plus 100 B power and 2 damage. He has a very nice cheap Evo, which kind of, I don't remember the stats off the top of my head. But it's fairly cheap. It doesn't really do anything outstanding. Um, honestly, overall opinions, he's a pretty good option if you want Pyrus for a Green Fist deck. But there really aren't that many great, great options. Like, like if you want to use Pyrus, you're kind of like pushing it by putting this in because he's kind of below average in a way. Well, most of the Green Fist Pyrus Bakugan are below average as well. But I mean, it's still a nice option to have Pyrus Gorthion. So anyway, we're going to take a look around him real quick. All right, and then we're going to fold him up and then take a look around, look around when he is folded up. All right, moving on. Uh, I swear, not being at home is going to be a bit weird. Just going to leave him out like that. Uh, moving on, we're going to move on to Lupetheon Ultra. For uh, base 505, you get... A shield and green fist with the special victor effect of all players must discard a card. Really good before like those sacrifice fury decks, and very good for making your opponent hand control, like making them discard cards. Uh, overall, I really like this card and Darkest Lupithion itself. It's a double whammy. Amazing card art, amazing uh, Bakugan, and amazing like toy, like toy itself. Um, the victor, like, being able to have all players must discard a card if you win is definitely a very cool effect. Uh, hoping this gets even, like, bigger and better in the new age of or this expansion that I keep bringing up. Anyway, so for those of you who do not know how to fold up a Lupithion, I'm going to show you. Uh, take these legs, fold them in until big, um, these little notches go into, like, there. Fold down the tail onto the feet, and then you're going to want to fold the head in like so. Hold it, push his entire like upper half down, and then fold in the arms like so. Uh, he's a li he's a little hard when it comes into folding the arms, but this is darkest. Oh, I could fold that back in. Darkest Lupithion balled up. Yeah, definitely a very amazing in ball form. Love the neon green. I just love the neon green in general in Darkus. Anyway, and then moving on, we have uh, Aos Trucks. Um, and actually, this and Pyroscorthion are reprints, but these ones are exclu like these two are exclusive to multi packs. Um, but anyway, moving on, we get uh, Aos Trucks, who has base three hundred uh, B power and three damage. And he has a magic shield and a helix. And if he lands on a magic shield, plus three frost strike. Uh, honestly, I don't know. I, wa I do want to say average because you have better magic shield options for Chaos. Like obviously Chaos Titan Ilias. And I know that there's a f few other. I probably can't name off the top of my head. Oh, Pegatrix Ultra is one. Um, but the frost strike is definitely a nice effect because... Any energy cards that uh, your opponent plays cost that much energy, and three energy more for flip cards is pretty devastating, meaning that stop non-X faction uh, flips cost now uh, six energy, which is pretty hard. I know he does have a expensive Evo at 600, but I don't remember the base stats and effect off the top of my head. Um, anyway, so moving on, here is Heosh Trox. Gonna do a quick look around. And then we're going to go ahead and fold them up. Going to fold up the manual arms, legs, and then tail. All right. Heosh Trox. And I got to say as well, definitely nice with that, uh, the neon blue and then the white. Uh, honestly, in my opinion, Heosh and Darkest are the most beautiful looking Bakugan of, uh, like, so in general. All right, and then moving on to the cards, we have Sonic Shield for Darkest Lupithion, Blaze for Pyroscorthion, 
And then we have Divine Inspiration for Hayash Trox. So this is all that is in the um, Darkest Lepithion pack. And to round out the video, we're going to be opening uh, Arliss Hydnoid. So I'll be right back you with you in a second once I open this pack up. Alright, and we're back. Uh, last pack of this video. And then after this, we're going to go ahead and split this video off and open the rest of this stuff. Um, but anyway, uh, cores. We got a Flaming Fist for plus 6 damage. A Shield for plus 300 B power. Flaming Fist for minus 5 damage. Another Flaming Fist for plus 150 B power and plus 4 damage. Got a Green Fist for plus 50 B power and plus 2 damage. And then we finally have a shield for plus 150 B power and plus 1 damage. So, moving on to the Bakugan themselves. Uh, so this one comes with two reprints as well, though this time these reprints come in solos um, exclusively. Uh, Kabo is a wave uh, 5 core reprint, whereas um, the Ventus Fangzor is a reprint from multiple wave 1 packs. So, but obviously... Um, the reason you want this is the Arliss Hydronite, which we'll get to after we get Kubo uh, out of the way. So, uh, Kubo again. Uh, for 300 B power and 4 damage, you get uh, Shield and Green Fist. And when you land on a Green Shield or... Um, green Shield? Fist or Green Fist or Shield, you get plus 2 Frost Strike. Uh, overall, like I'm um, gonna say, kind of eh. I mean, Frost Strike as well is really, really good. You can make them, like, really work with those uh, Hybrid, Shield, Green Fist X. Um, not too much else to go off of, considering we don't have an evil for this. But his base form alone is kind of eh. Eh, that's how I'm going to put it. Um, but anyway, moving on, we got Chaos Cabo. How you fold him up is simple. Ears in, torso up. And then here is Heyas Kubo folded up for all of you bear lovers, Kubo lovers, uh, out there. Yeah. Alright, moving on, we are going to have Arliss Hydronoid Ultra. This is one big one that a lot of people have been waiting for because he is, uh, he has two Flaming Fists, which is a first, one of the first, uh, aside from the Pyrus Faders earlier on, but... He has base 200 B power, 2 damage, and he has the insane effect of when you land on a Flaming Fist, plus 1,000 B power. So you combine this with a plus 250, um, 250 and 3 damage Flaming Fist, that, and you land on that, that puts you up to 1450, and then 1450, 100, or 4, 1450, yeah, 1450, 100, and then 3 or 5 damage. Which is insane before cards. Like, even start playing action cards. So, definitely a monster in of itself. I mean, what else would you expect from a Hydronoid? Um, yeah, so, definitely exciting. You could probably even use this in his base form alone, even without his uh, possible Evo. Um, really good card. If you don't have a Cubo, like a Chaos single Cubo yet, I would definitely recommend picking this pack up. Um, even if you already have these two Bakugan, uh, and you really want a nice, cool, good Bakugan, I really would want to recommend this pack. I cannot recommend it enough, because not only does Arliss Hydronoid look amazing in that gold and silver, he is a beast himself. But anyway, let's, uh, see how he folds up. So, uh, you go hind legs, front legs, uh, bottom half of his body goes up, tail goes up. Uh, side heads fold in like that, uh, top head goes in, and the rest of the appendages at the top here fold in. And here is Arliss Hydronoid balled up. Gonna do a quick look around. Man, I cannot get over how amazing he is. Anyway, that's enough about Arliss Hydronoid. Uh, and then moving on to the last one of the pack, we get Ventus Fangzor. Uh... Big flashbacks to all the way at the beginning of the year because 
This is probably the only Wave 1 reprint in all of these starter packs. So for 300 B power and 3 damage, you get the effect of when this Bakugan opens, opposing Bakugan get minus 1 damage. So very nice if you open this up, you get my, you take or automatically take 1 less damage. So he's very nice at softening blows as well as his Evo, which uh, increases the this boost to minus 3 damage. Um, overall, this could actually be really good for like helping you defend against team attacks because that minus three applies to all the Bakugan when it says when this opens opposing Bakugan get minus one it doesn't say an opposing Bakugan it just says opposing Bakugan which could be referring to plural um might need a little clarification on that maybe but uh he also has a green shield and flaming fists and overall I'd say average my favorite word um yeah so, not much too spectacular here. Like I said, he is good at softening blows. Um, but anyway, moving on, uh, gonna fold him up and, or wait, first off, we're gonna take a look, little quick, quick look around. Uh, I know that some of you might have already seen a Fangs War, but I'm just doing it just because everybody else got a look around. Can't be biased towards something that's already released. So anyway, here is Ventus Fangs War balled up. Yeah. So, and then moving on for the cards, we get, uh, ooh. We get Stoneblade for Ventus Fangzor. We get Darkest Howl, which is peculiar. I would assume this was an Aquos card, because, uh, Aquos is Hydronoid's main faction in this reboot, but, um, he comes with a Darkest card, which is Darkest Howl. And then Cabo comes with the flip card, Trick Trap. So, that was everything in the, uh... RLS Hydronoid set. So this is part one of the Wave 6 um, starter pack unboxing. Uh, in the second part, we're going to go ahead and be unboxing uh, Aqua Swebum, Pyrus Nilius, and then Chaos Nobilius. Uh, so yeah, and then in a third part, we're going to be opening up the Diamond Webum, the Diamond Serpentis, and the Diamond Webum 3-pack, or Darkest Webum and then the Diamond Wellum 3-pack. Sorry. Um, so anyway, this is Scarlet Scale, and I'll be catching you all on the flip side.